What's going on, everybody? Coach Al here, and a couple of housekeeping items before we begin. First of all, over at PlaybookGamer.com, I have added all of the playbook and play information for NCAA Football 2004. I worked on that all last week. That was a lot of fun going through all the plays and formations, seeing some tendencies and some differences between it and 06, for example, since I'm so familiar with it. So a lot of cool stuff there. Make sure you go check that out. Now, let's talk about this dynasty. The point of this dynasty was to take a team and do a, a coach uh, training player development type of route. And that's what we've done here with UNLV. I've recruited nothing but three-star kids and below. That's been very fun. Uh, but we're at a point where we're in Mountain West purgatory. We're destroying the conference. And I've beefed up the schedules about as much as I can. So here's what we're going to do. Either UNLV is going to be invited at the end of the season by somebody, probably the Pac-10, or I'm moving on to another school. And I would prefer to move on to no school in this dynasty file. I don't want to have to go back and start back over and get back into season one with regular season recruiting. I want to start the new program, whoever that's going to be, and get right into off-season recruiting and position changes, all that stuff. I always think that's a fun way to start a program. So we're definitely going to go that route if we do not get invited by the Pac-10 or Big 12. I hope we get invited. I mean, because I'd like to see this dynasty keep going, but it's getting to, to the point where we're just kind of sitting here waiting to move on to greener pastures, and it may not ever happen. It's a random thing if you get invited. So we'll see what happens with that. But if not, we're moving on. So speaking of that, let's talk about some teams that I may be interested in. And what I normally do is, in the Coach Sexton dynasty I'd done months ago with SMU and Washington State, when I was looking for Washington State, what I'd done was I went to conference standings, and I decided I'm going to a Power 5 school. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I want to go to a Power 5 school just because I want to recruit big-time talent because I got some ideas in mind for the new program. It's going to be an interesting way to go about doing recruiting. Uh, I'm going to do some new schemes on offense and defense, a bunch of new stuff across the board, especially in recruiting. I'm not going to get into that right now. We can talk about that towards the end of the season. But for now, know that I want to pick a, a power five school just so that gives me the green light to recruit anybody and anybody, anybody and everybody that I want. So with that being said, let's talk about some power five conferences. Pac-10, I'm not going to bother with because we've done the Washington State Dynasty it was months ago. It's been quite a while, but it's been recent. I want to move on to another Power 5 school of some sort. I'm thinking SEC. Now, let's talk about the SEC for a minute. Any program that's... I prefer to take over a two-star program or higher. I mean, Florida, they are a powerhouse up to this season in this dynasty. I'm not going to take over a program like that. It'd be too easy because they're loaded down with talent. I want to take over a program and build them up. It's always fun. Eventually, I'll get to the Florida level with that new team, but I don't want to start off with the powerhouse. It's just not as fun. But trust me, we'll get there with the new team. So here's what I'm thinking. Any program that's like three-star or below that's kind of struggling this season, that's who I want to go after. For example, let's go down Mississippi State. They're a three-star program right now. They will go down to a two because unless they went out the rest of the season, they're going down to a two-star program. I'm highly interested in them. Should be a lot of fun to see what we could do there. The interesting thing is, what if they go winless? That means I'll have no points to work with in off-season recruiting, training, what have you. So I don't know how that's going to shake out. But I'm interested in them because I like the area, and I think it'll be really interesting to see if I can turn them to a powerhouse. Next up is Arkansas. This is another one that I'm interested in. They're a two-star program. They're having a losing season. I like the idea. It's very similar to Mississippi State. Also, Auburn. Auburn is two and three. And if you show, if you, I'll show you here real quick when it goes to program. See, they are a three-star program right now. They are two and three. If they have another average, the below average season, they'll go down to a two-star. And I might want to take them over. But that's the only ones that I'm interested in. I don't remember the last time I've done a dynasty in the SEC West. I've always been either Tennessee or what have you. And I guess the last time I've done a SEC West Dynasty is when I took UCF and, and got invited to the SEC years ago, back when that dynasty was going on. So I'm thinking Auburn, Arkansas, or Mississippi State for the SEC. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, ACC is a possibility. We can look here. 
And let's go down and let's just look at some of these programs. Now, I'm not going to do Clemson. Everybody's sick and tired of Clemson right now. North Carolina is a possibility. They are a two-star program, and they're terrible. Very good chance I may want to take them over. Virginia, if, if they're a four-star, I'm not going to do it. I want to do it like a, at least a two or a three, and it looks like they are a four-star. Let's say, yeah, they're four-star. We're not going to bother with them. Pro- Maryland, they're two and three, and they're a three-star. That's a possibility. Go back up to the Northeast a little bit. Duke is a possibility. I've done so many Duke dynasty because I'm a Duke fan, which makes you wonder why I would ever want to do a North Carolina dynasty. But either way, Duke is still maybe a possibility. Uh, that may be it out of the ACC. So I'm thinking maybe like North Carolina or maybe Duke, possibly. We may go down that route. Uh, the Big 12 is a possibility. We've technically never done a Big 12 dynasty before. At least I haven't for the channel. So let's talk about that. Iowa State, they're a four-star program. Baylor is a possibility, but I've already done the Texas thing with SMU. I'm thinking Oklahoma State may be interesting. They're a three-star program. They're struggling. Uh, we always got to battle Oklahoma every season. That's going to be tough. Of course, Texas is in our division as well. Uh that may be it. I don't want to go too far out west. Like Kansas is a possibility. That's kind of that's a pretty decent challenge because recruiting is going to be tough for that. But they're still a two-star program. I prefer to take over a non-basketball school to be honest. Because if you notice, a lot of these teams I'm talking about are Big 12 schools. ACC with Duke and North Carolina. That's why I was so interested in Mississippi State, Arkansas, and Auburn. They're not. Ex- I mean, I know Auburn's has got a pretty good basketball team now with Bruce Pearl. Arkansas has always had a bit of tradition, but Mississippi State, not so much. That's why I'm probably more intrigued by them than anybody else. But I'm not going to rule out these basketball schools because that's just kind of the way it works out. Uh, the only other one, like I said, is Big 12. We can go right back down here. And Baylor, again, I just don't know if I want to do the Texas thing. Uh, in Kansas, but again, they're like a hardcore basketball school. That's why they're not going to be as good, usually. Uh, so... Big East is the other possibility. Let's talk about the Big East for a second. Syr- I, Syracuse would be interesting. With another Northeast school. They're a two-star program, but they are technically a basketball school. I've thought about doing Cincinnati. I've had a request to do Cincinnati for a long time. I may try that. I've never done a Big East dynasty, to be honest, and I've been told that you can't get invited to a bigger conference, but that's the only thing I, I don't want to do or I'm a little worried about is am I stuck in the Big East forever? And that's a possibility that's still, I'm still going to recruit the biggest players that I could find, the best ones, even if I'm in the, in the Big East. Because you've got to remember, this was 15 years ago. Big East Conference was a big-time conference back then. Louisville and uh, Pitt were all ranked at the time. Rutgers had a real good team at, the, at one point. Uh, so we'll just see about that. Cincinnati may be the one possibility, because the other ones uh, I'm not overly interested in, more or less. Because like I said, a lot of these are basketball schools. But that's it. Big Ten, I don't want to do because we've done the Indiana Dynasty. And I think that's kind of it. So that's just something to think about. Uh, just, again, just a quick summary. Uh, Arkansas, Mississippi State, or Auburn is a possibility. ACC, definitely Duke or maybe North Carolina. And the Big 12, uh, maybe Kansas or... Pa- Maybe just Kansas. Oklahoma State's a possibility. That may be the other one. So we'll just see how all that goes. I think you'll all be excited about which route I take. Either way, we're going to see some change at the end of the offseason. Okay, let's get back into UNLV. Let's go. Uh, who are we playing this week? We're playing Air Force. We're going to Air Force. Should be interesting. We've done a, a pretty good job against them defensively the last couple of seasons. Uh, so I'm looking forward to see if we can keep doing that as well. I assume they're going to just run a ton. Let's go to recruiting. This has been the most interesting part of the this season so far. We're still like in good shape for like all these kids. Like we're even moving up for some more. I like to see some of these guys get okay. Like we're number one. We're still in the top five for this cat. We moved up to number one. We've only put ten points on the kid, so we're in good shape here. This guy may be kind of tough to go after, but I'm curious to see if we end up in his top three. I may need to put some points on him. Um, uh, I know we don't have any more points, but i just love to see us get into the top three and just see what happens from there. Here's the other wide receiver. It's real tight race for this cat. Good shape here. Good shape for this guard. Really good shape for this tackle. Number one there. We're number two for this tight end. We are in good shape for this wide receiver. We moved up, and we've got seven points on. That's incredible. 
Uh, right tackle. Really good shape for this guy. Looks like we have a good chance of getting him. Uh, top five for this tight end. He likes one of our pitches. Tight end. We're in really good shape for him. And we're in good shape for this corner. And this other corner, we're in the top five. I'm not changing a thing. Why? Everything's doing well across the board. So we're going to leave it as is. Okay, that's all we really need to see. There's nothing else in Sports Illustrated we need to look at. It's I mean, we can check out the Heisman watch. I don't think any of our guys would be on there because nobody's really taken games over. It's been pretty balanced in terms of who's gotten the ball, in terms of our skill players and such. So let's just get right into the Falcons, see if we can beat these guys. So again, I'm super excited about this particular dynasty. I'd love to see us get invited if it doesn't happen. Hey, I'm going to move on. We're going to do something different offensively, defensively, especially in recruiting. I got a unique uh, idea for that. Really excited about it. Again, we'll get into the details of that towards the end of the season if we do move on. All right, looks like Air Force is having some struggles with a couple defensive players. They got a wide receiver hurt. And they're having just a rough year. Hopefully we'll have no issues today. They are a... I think they're a 3-4 team. I always forget. I need to do better scouting. I need to go back and watch my own game film, and I never do. All right, let's check out the preview. I'm Brad Nessler, here along with two of the best commentators in the game, Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso. Guess we got a pretty night for it. Prepared with their blankets and the heavy coats for this chilly matchup tonight between the UNLV Rebels and the Air Force Falcons. All right, the conference is looks like it's us in Utah. As these two teams get ready to go. BYU, I think, is still in the thick of it. Stachins having a good season. Eleven touchdowns, three picks. As long as he stays an impact guy, he'll definitely become our stay our starter. And he said. He's done good regardless. What I don't like is our second string quarterback or third string guy is an impact guy. I don't know how that happened. All right, we want the ball in the second half. The wind is not going to be too much of a factor today. Like I just said, they got Sartini as an impact guy, which is goofy. It's a waste, but nothing you can do about that. I wish you could pick your impact guys, but I'm in a way, I'm kind of glad you don't because it gives you kind of the randomness of it all. But let's look at Air Force's offense. All right, they got an impact quarterback that can run. And he's should be interesting to see if we can stop him. Chad Hall, he's finally a senior. Impact halfback. Again, they're going to run the ball a ton today. They got a fullback with 82 speed. Nothing, absolutely nothing out of receiving core, which is expected. Tight again. Let's say 76, 74. Huge center. The center's the biggest <laughs> offensive line. No, this guy's huge. 6'6", 343 pounds. Redshirt freshman. Good pickup for them. Uh, I, like I said, I think they run a 3-4, but I, I, I don't remember. Yeah, they don't have a whole lot of defensive tackles. That, are that or a 3-3-5. Let's see. 68 starting middle linebackers out, but their backup's not bad. 74. Top corners out for three games. He must have done something heinous. Man, that's terrible. I wonder what he done. I can go back and check. 76, 76, 70. 84, big time free safety. I wonder if he's as good as Warren Parker. I doubt it because Warren Parker is putting on a show this season. Uh, strong safety. So they're back seven or back four or secondary. He's not bad. Bad kicker, bad punter. Let's get the show on the road. Not the best kick. This is going towards the sideline. Smith takes it at the eight. Good tackle there. We're going to run a lot of one high today. Because we fully expect him to run it early and often. And we'll flip that. Oh my gosh, I took a terrible angle. That was my bad. We'll do another one high. 
going with the goal line. Not goal line, but a flex bone tight. Pick up about four there. Looks like their fullback's getting a lot of love out of the gate. Second and six. Ball on the 44 yard line. Let's see. They shift on the defensive line. Watch for the run here. I fully expect them to do an option or something right here or a run to the left. Yep. Oh, somebody get him. All right. Good deal. Third and five. I still expect them to run it. So we're going to go to a one high. And they're doing that. Ah, pick up the first. Just stick to more one high. It's going to be a short game. We're going to run a ton of clock. I want to flip that. I want stags towards the middle of the field. Ah, junk. That's what happens. I dove. Dang it. <laughs> Don't ever dive. I mean, you'll regret it. It's going to be a hit or miss. And I completely watch this. Burnt. <laughs> That's terrible. <sighs> okay. I'm not too worried about that. That was just dumb play on my part. I probably just need to get towards the, the line more often. Or just get closer in general if they're not going to throw any. Two bad plays on my part. Everything, the rest of the plays were fine. Just bad tackling. They're opening up their holes, though, pretty well. Oh, just don't fumble it. Let's see, we're on the right hash. Through corkers. We're going man and nickel. We got an impact free safe. I forgot about that. Looks like that linebacker may be on. Nope, he's going to be on him. So, what we're going to do, go to the out. And then get a whole lot out of it. Only three yards. Let's do a basic toss. Oh, one thing I forgot to do. I want to put Coleman. We're going to do some formation subs. I want to put Coleman. We're going to start, start splitting carries with Peoples and Coleman. I want to put Coleman here. And I want to put Coleman here and Coleman here. My halfback doesn't touch the ball through the air a whole lot from these couple sets. Plus, we got halfback blast, which I'm liking at a weak slot. So let's do that. That way, Peoples can get a bit of a rest every now and then without me having to do it manually. That's an easy way to split up carries, basically. Ah, eh, come on. Like Left guard moved. Second and 12. And they're going zone. They are 3-3-5. Three, three, I just couldn't remember what they done. Oh, that ain't good. And eh, we're very fortunate he caught the ball there. Uh, third and 11. I probably should have just threw on that one. We'll go five semi. They'll go one man. This is going to be a tough throw to Wheaton. Hopefully I can get it to him. Nice. Pick up the first. All right. Let's go back to the air. Let's go back to Corkers. We'll go spread. We're going man. This will go somebody on the right more than likely. Going two. Pick up the first, maybe. Second and inches. Let's go slam here. Let's see if we can just pick up the first. We're going zone. He's doing that. Hmm. Don't fumble. Impact guy on him. You just never know. It's a good play there. Uh, let's go back to let's go corners. We're going zone here. Three, three, five. Let's see. I thought I was going to get picked. I threw a little too late. It's a good catch though by Nash. Second and inches. Let's do blast. 
Let's just pick up the first if we can. They're going zone and they're going 5 2. <laughs> as soon as I decide to go right up the middle and they're doing that. Now let's do this. Let's go with that. I may just go to the outside. Nope. Just get the first, be done with it. Okay. Let's go Lonnie. Going out weak slot. We're going man. I think they're going one high. Yep, they're going to go one high. Good throw. Good throw to Wheaton. Uh, first down there. We're on the left hash steal. Uh, let's go counter. We're going man. So the run game is going to be interesting today. I don't know how this is. We got the guy sitting over there too. Good block there. Not a whole lot. Just got three out of that. Let's go five semi out of week normal. We're going man. I'd love to, if they bring both safeties, I may try to go to Nash. They're doing that. I'll just pick up the first, possibly. I think he got the first. Okay, I'm on the six. We can try. I'm, they should go goal line. So let's go fade out. And they're doing that. They're going zone. Okay. Maybe it's usually six yards and ends when they go goal line. Touchdown. All right, good deal. It's a good drive. We had to convert that big third and long to keep it going due to the penalty and the bad first play. So that was a good recovery. We'll pick up the extra point. Now let's get back on defense. I'll try not to goof up again. The quarter is about over with. Again, this will be a short game more than likely. Unless they turn the ball over a ton, which I hope they do. It doesn't hurt my feelings. If they do. Get a stop there. Let's just go back to a one high. Let's see. Doing a little motion. You don't see the CPU do that a whole lot. Good play there. Somebody came through. Flash. Flash. Cut. However you want to say it. Flash. Uh, as in flatulence. <laughs> This is one thing it's I'm always weary of shifting the line and the linebackers one way or the other if it's a balanced set as such. Okay, third and five. We're gonna go back to one height. All right, it's in the quarter. I'm not too worried about it. We're tied. Just trying to do anything stupid on defense. I think we'll be okay. We're going goal line here. Or probably go with the flex bone tight. Probably go with that wing back play again, if I had to guess. They're not a big option team. They just like to do basic handoffs. Oh, play action. Oh, my gosh. Mm. Wasn't expecting that. I, I bet on the fake. I thought they was going to go over the top. I'm surprised they didn't. Really shocked they didn't go over the top. Let's do that. Let's just... Doing some type of shift. Picked up five. Their offensive line is pushing us around. We'll stick with the same play. That's fine. Second down and five. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. They shift on their defensive front. They'll probably run to the left. Yep. Dang it, dang it, dang it. <laughs> That's my bad. He just took a great angle. Eh, what do you do? Let's try a zone blitz. I don't know. Probably no reason to do it. But Picked up a few yards. 
for four yards. We're gonna go with a fire green. We're gonna go with an all out. Going full house of all things. I'm on 95. I'm on that tight end. Oh, great defense by Martin. That's why you get tall corners. That's why you get tall corners. Uh, we're going to go with quarters. Honestly, I can see them running it here. It's third and six, but I want to keep everything in front of me, too. If I was them, I'd probably just run it. Good stop. Kick a field goal. Good deal. Kick a field goal. Let's get the ball back and we'll see if we can get the lead. Here comes the kicker. He'll try to put his team up by a field goal. The kick is up, and it's through the Okay. You can have all those all day. Let's see if Anderson can do something with this here. Nope. Right to the teeth of it. All right, we're on the left hash. What haven't we called yet? Let's go. Let's go, Lonnie. We'll do it from spread this time. We're going zone. And we'll just go over here. Pick up eight. They probably could have went cover two, or I, I didn't see it, to be honest. For whatever reason, I want paying attention to the safeties. All right, they're going second and one. UNLV comes to the line with one hand in the backfield. Just don't fumble it. Pick up the first there. Just on the left hash. I want to go. Uh, let's uh, let's go back to corners. They're going zone. Good play there. They're giving us the middle wide open. That's why Nash is getting open. I mean, the center of the field is nice and clear for us. All right, let's go with a toss with Peoples. Now, I don't, the toss may be completely, they're going 3-3-5. We probably need to quit doing this. Oh, gosh, just good play, but that's not going to be a consistent thing. Uh, we're on the right hash. Let's go. Let's go fork. This is impressive to see this We're going man. Oh, that safety's going to let's see what he does. Going one high. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Oh, we got very lucky. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> We're supposed to go to the other guy. <sighs> my bad, my bad, my bad. Uh, he is I also want to do this. I think Coleman would do better. In this situation. So we can try that. Go slam. Get him more vertical. They're going man. I'm going to hot route here. Or do a audible. Ah, dang it, dang it, dang it. Oh, we were very lucky that didn't get picked off. That was my bad. So where are we at? We're on the 39 is 30 10. Uh, we can try five semi for now. We're going zone. Great throw. Right over the middle. Great play. All right, we're in the middle of the field. Who is feeling it? Uh, Coleman's still feeling good. I want to try. Blast will do it from slot this time. We're going zone. And they're going 335. I want to get up the A and B gaps a little bit more. Didn't get a whole lot out of it. Second and seven. All right, we could try toss again, but yeah, they're going zone. At least they're bringing everybody up. I um, guess we're going this way. All right, getting some good blocking here. Got to get the first. Third and inches. Uh, let's just go slam. We're going zone. If we're going to go this way. 
Easy run. Good deal. Okay. Got the lead. Minute 21 to go. We have all of our timeouts. I'd like to kick an extra point, get on defense, and see if we can stop and maybe get the ball back and try to score again before half. That would be nice. We'll try that. So with just over a minute to go in the half, the score, UNLV 14, Air Force 10. And it looks like I'd like to see a turnover on by Air Force. That'd be great. Good kick, just not long enough. Just short, and their impact guys got it. Chad Hall. Just stop them. That's all that matters is somebody stop them. We'll just stick with the one high. Ooh. I thought he was going to pick that off. Ended up being a good throw, though. Second of one. I'm going to do quarters. I think they're going to start throwing a little bit, so... Let's sprint it out. Interception by Faga. Welcome back, son. I'm not going to fumble that. We're going to just get out of bounds. Good for him. He's been out for a couple games. Great play. He just picked that thing right off. That's what we needed right there. Mm. Knocked him over, too. What yard are we on? We are on the nine. Uh, hey, I called the wrong play. Dang it. We're going zone. I'm going to call a timeout. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. Let's go. Uh, we could try fade out. I don't Fade out, I don't know if it's going to work all that well. They're going man. But I don't know about that over there. Uh, oops, I pressed the wrong button. There we go. That's short-armed it big time. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. That's what I figured. He was just sitting over there. Uh, three, three, five. I mean, he had. He was just, just a terrible throw. Man, he short armed it. Well, that's not what we wanted. But now I know I'm not gonna do fade out on that defense. At least on a three, three, five. Fumble, another one. One Parker, go, baby, freshman, all American. Oh, get it back. Oh, we got a player hurt. I think that's our impact defensive tackle. His elbow. Hopefully that's not too serious. Warren Parker, baby. Gosh, I love that kid. What a stud. He wasn't the one who got who forced the fumble, but I was in the position to pick it up at least. So that was a weird turn of events. All right, let's get back on defense. We got two timeouts in less than a minute. So anything can happen in terms of us maybe getting the ball back before half. Good stop there. I do not trust. Uh, let's go nickel. I don't trust them. I feel like they're going to run it. I, don't, I think they've given up on this. Drive, more or less. Yep, they're going to run it. That's what I figured. Another player hurt. Elbow. What's the deal with the elbow injuries? Now let's do a little bit of shifting if we can. They're going to do the wing back play. I can or I can feel it. Told you. I'm calling a timeout. It's third and one. We may be able to get a stop here. It's third down and a yard for the first down. Ball on their own 32. When this quarterback's in the zone as he is now, he can do a lot of damage to the defense. Watch the other wing back play. It's probably coming in my direction. Yep. Awesome stop. Call timeout. Call timeout. They love that wing back play. Have you noticed they don't run any option? They run wing back plays. Just handoffs. 
All right, we're out of timeouts. We got 26 seconds to go. So we're going to have to get down the field fairly quickly if we can. They come out in a punt formation. It's off and it is a Let's see if Anderson can do something. Oh, good pickup there. Okay, we're on the 17. Let's try. Uh, that's That one guy's on that other side. Let's just do five semi. I'm trying to think of just a lot of deep routes. Like everybody's deep. We're going man here. Going one high. Oh, just a little too hard. Second and ten. Uh, uh, let's go Ralph. We're going man. If I could get it to Flair. Yeah, they're double teaming him. Going cover zero. Nice. That's what we needed. Oh, dang it. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make We're going to spike it if we can. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. There we go. Okay, we got four seconds left, so we're going to go Hail Mary. No, not five wide. Let's go here. Uh, and I want... We're going to go this one. We're going man. Interesting. I'm going to go wherever that safety is not. He's over there, so. Oh, dang it. Hey, good defense. I was going to go to Flair. Just couldn't get it off in time. Okay, we're up 11. There's no point in even looking at the stats. We haven't done enough. So let's just get right to the third quarter. All right, let's see if Anderson could do something here. Anderson fields it at the three. Nice, decent and run. Break in the was the Left hash. I want to try some blast. They're going man three, three, five. That's right, good pickup. Saw a hole there. The free fullback got through. All right. Out for the game. That stinks. So at least it's just the game. Could be worse. UNLV comes out with an eye formation. Laterals back. Go Peoples. He may be gone. Not gonna get caught. Big play by Peoples. Go, son. Woo! Awesome. Stiff arm city. Get off me. You can't guard me. Golly, what a stiff arm that was. Good timing. Fullback too slow, so I had to do a juke on that guy. And then just, boom, get off me. Awesome play by Peoples. Wasn't expecting that. All right, good deal. Now we're up by 18. Fixing to go up, or we'll go up 18, hopefully. Get the extra point. Stretch the lead a bit. A Guayo. Also, he's been one of the better kickers I've had over the years. He's, he doesn't have the good power, but he's consistent. I think last season, I forgot how many field goals he made. We haven't had to kick many field goals. We've done a good job once we're down around the red zone. We end up scoring touchdowns. Last season, I felt like we scored a lot of field goals. Okay, let's get back on defense. I'm going to stay back. I'm going to just let it do its thing. I'm not going to try to go head on. I'm going to play action. Set. Bobell. Come on through. Boom. We'll go back to a one high. I still expect them to run it. <laughs> I just don't trust them to throw it. They may do it here, but. One play action. Oh, what a hit. Golly, that was a hit and a half. Watch this. Uh. Okay, third and forever. We're going to go cloud. Surely this guy can't make a 17-yard pass. Nickel defense. Steps up. He's 
Oh, he's gone. Man, I'll bet he's going to pick it up. I'll bet. Good for him. That's what you get with a quarterback that can run a little bit. I guess we could have went spy maybe, but I don't know. Good stop there. A gain of three yards by the fullback. Fullback's gotten several touches today. Second and seven. This is the fifth play of this drive. Good stop there. All right, third and seven ish or whatever. Yeah, third and seven. They're doing that. Uh, okay, we'll go quarters. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. Carney is in the zone and looking to make a play. I want to control stacks because most quarterbacks, and yeah, they're going to run it anyways. That was a dumb play call. We'll take it. Okay. Let's get the ball back and maybe we could put them out of their misery. I haven't ran any play action meals today. I need to try to do some of that. We may call that first play. Somebody get a block on the left. Ain't gonna happen. Oh, that was a disaster. Okay. Uh, let's try some of that. A little leery about that free safety. I think he's a pretty good ball player, but they're going. Oh, they're doing that. I completely forgot they ran three three five. Uh, Oh, man, he was wide open. Just a bad throw. It's a good try. Second and ten. Let's go slam. And they're doing that. Going zone. Ooh, this. That's just, yeah. It's not a whole lot there. Third and eight. We'll go five semi again. They're going man. Love to hit the flare on the deep out. The Rebel come out in the ace formation. Going cover two. Rolls to the right. He lets it go. Nice. Flair's been a stud this season. Oh, and he's hurt another elbow injury. What in the world? That's three elbow injuries in one game. Crazy. So I'm down a little bit on the receiving front. Let's go back to five semi. Let's do a week normal. We're going man. Probably go to Wheaton. Oh, terrible throw. Oh, we got very fortunate. That wasn't picked off. Just a terrible throw by Steichen. Steichen, whatever you want to call him. All right, they're going man. Ooh, I guess we'll do a... Oh, good pickup. Great block by somebody over there. I'm just going to get out of bounds. I'm not going to let that dude force a fumble. We're on the left hash. I'm trying to think here. Let's go back to Corkers. They're going zone. Now, Flair's out for the game. Sprained elbow. They're going zone. And this ain't good. Oh, great play. Good pass. Good catch. Almost got picked off, but uh, second and three. Uh, I wonder what happens if I go back blast from here. Three, three, five. Let's see if we can find something up the middle. I had to get to the B gap on the right side. A lot of heat coming on the left. In the left hash. Uh, let's go blast from here. I love this blast. If you're, if you're patient with it, all I don't use the speed button, you can find some room up the middle. We may find some really good room up here. Uh, big play. Okay, we are second and what? Second and one. We're on the 17. He is gassed. So let's go. I'm going to go five wide. I'm going to go corners. We're going zone. We'll probably just go to Anderson here. Ooh, are you going to give it to us? 
First down, just enough. Guy was just sitting there waiting on it. I forgot we're kind of down a man on receiving front. Let's go to corner from here. We're going zone. Oh, no, watch out. That's good defense. I was fixing to get sacked. Had to get rid of it. Right, let's stay here and let's do a toss with Peoples. We're going zone. Since they got that extra dude over there, I may just leave him over there. Oh, crap. Crap. We got very lucky there. We'll break that play down. Who got behind us? Let's see. Oh, that's right. Look at that. The guy came through right there. Blitz from the corner position. And that if I'd have pitched it right there, it would have been a little bit better. We probably would have got a touchdown. Oh, well. So where are we at? Well, it's third and forever. Uh, I guess we'll go back to five semi. We're going man. Don't know if St. Prue can make that catch. I'd love to see both safeties come up. Love to go to Anderson over the top. Nope, they're going to go one high. Just not the best throw in the world. Stitch has had an average game. At least it feels like it. We'll kick a field goal. See if we can go up 21. We'll go up three touchdowns. We'll definitely check the stats at the end of the game. Really good kick. Right down the middle. Close to the middle. <laughs> good play. All right. All right, we got points out of it. All right. One more play in the quarter. This is going to the sideline. Eh, not as bad as I thought, but that guy's going to catch it. Good tackle there. Now, I'm guessing they're going to still run it. Fully, yeah, they're going to go line, so let's just go one high. Get everybody down. Fullback dive. Tackle by Parker. Everybody's favorite free safety. Lacey's mine. The dude's fun to watch. I, I'm, I've really enjoyed taking him over and trying to do stuff with him. Fullback dive. That's a smart play call. Just pick up an easy first. Got 100 yards on the day. Of course, half of it came off like two big plays in the first quarter. It's first and ten. Ball on the 41. Carney is the impact player, and he's feeling it right now. Oh, my gosh. That was a goofy play. <laughs> His impact status broke the tackle for him. Forced him to the left, though. I thought we did a pretty good job against the run game today. Not going to lie. I mean, they've had their big plays, but that's expected with a run-heavy team. Oh, I took a terrible angle. Oh, I took a terrible angle. That was my bad. I went down instead of around. I was trying to cut in, and that did not work. I got a little eye formation in their playbook. We'll go to the fullback, probably. Nope, we're going with the toss. Great pursuit by Staggs. They still picked up the first, but that was the perfect angle. Stayed on that same line. So we're going to go with the one high. He's gassed. Oh, so let's go. We'll probably need to flip that. Pick up five there. They, everybody's gassed. We're going to see some backups in here real quick. Let's do that. Oh, great play. <laughs> I dove again. I'm an idiot. I got to quit diving. I thought he was going to get sacked. That's a great play by the quarterback. Corner done terrible there, and I took a nose dive. I got to just work on that. I got to quit doing it. That was my bad. All right. Two-score game. Hey, this game is nowhere near over with, so we got to just be careful. Keep doing what we're doing. I'm going to try to run a little bit of clock, though. Might as well. I mean, we're, the game's about over with. 
Kudos to them for sticking with it, though. They've given us a good game. Just die. Yeah, just get down. Peoples has had a really good game. I want to do this, though. Let's, let's do a run play. And they're going Nick. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. That. Let's go this way. Dang it. Oh my gosh, what a play. Wasn't expecting that. That was wild. Look at this. I went stiff arm as soon as I got it. And I guess it worked. It just kind of bounced off of him. That was weird. And that was a terrible. What's Nash doing up there? Why couldn't he pick up that block? Just went right by him. Crazy. Uh, I want to try. We'll do counter from pro to going zone. We've got the clock roll. We'll probably do basic handoffs, no tosses, just so there won't be any goofy fumbles. After this play, we'll probably throw. Get it down to a second or two. Second and five. I'm going to just run again. Let's go slam from spread. We're going zone nickel. Ooh. That didn't change anything. Hopefully our tackles can handle those defensive ends. Yep, they done okay. Can't get nothing out of it, though. Four yards, third and one. He's a little bit gassed. Let's do basic slam with peoples. See if we can get to the outside at least. We're going 5-2. I like this depending on how they shift. Ooh, I love it. Everybody stay put. We're going to run to the right. We're going to run some clock. At least I could probably kick a field goal if I don't convert this. And I may try that if I don't. We'll see. I may go for it on fourth. Yeah, okay, good deal. I'm just going to get down. They call the timeout. They don't need to throw it. There's no point. We'll go offensive line. Let's run the same play. We're going to flip it this time. We're going man, going 5 2 again. We want to force timeouts. And they called one. Don't fumble it. A little worried about that guy. Thankfully, he didn't force it to fumble. It's another timeout. We're going to run it again. We're going to try blast. We're going zone 335. May find something up the middle, possibly. Uh oh. Big play! Ah! Odd front. Zone up the gut. Game over. Big hole up the gap. Good deal. All right, that should have sealed it. We'll go up three touchdowns here. Then just try to survive the next minute and a half without any injuries. <laughs> Lord knows we've had enough today. Thankfully, they're all short term. Up the gut, up the middle, but their impact guy's going to catch it. We're doing a good job on the kickoff, though. He hasn't been able to do much of anything. We're going to try quarters. I think they still may run it, to be honest. It wouldn't shock me if they did. If they do, then I'll just go back to cover one. Nope, we're going zone. We're going pass. Fullback's had a busy day. Now... Now they'll probably go to a run play here. Oh, they're going to pass. Good catch. They're quarters. You, you attack the middle. That's what they're doing right there. Flag. Somebody ran it. That's probably on us. Dang it. Offsides. Yep. That's what you could do sometimes on a no huddle. A defensive lineman or somebody in the backfield trying to get back to the line can. We'll go cover two, man. 
They could get back to the line and rub into an offensive player and they'll automatically call it. Dang it! <laughs> I'm terrible at that. I didn't even dive either. I just took a bad angle. <sighs> I just got to work on it. Sometimes I'm good at it. Sometimes it's a, abysmal. Oh, gosh. Look right by me again. Probably go back to that same play. Biggest reason why that's happening is I'm using the speed button. It's just like on offense, speed button, you lose all your agility, you can run past people. I feel like that's what's happening with me. So I'm going to back off the speed button a little bit. Let's see if that helps some. We're just going to run the same play over and over again. Ah, my gosh. Flag down. Probably on us. Hopefully it's a holding. Clipping. Look at all that orange. <laughs> Everybody is gassed to no end. That's hilarious. And they call a timeout. <laughs> I still gotta go cover two man. They'll probably do the basic go concept out of normal if I had to guess. Nope, they decided to run it. That's fine. All right, good game. They gave us a pretty good game up till you know, the very end was able to score that last touchdown, but either way, it's always interesting when you play the academy teams. All right. We ended up having a pretty even game in terms of rushing and passing. Our run game done a good job. 188 yards. Had more rushing yards than passing. The turnovers, thankfully we won that battle. We had two fumbles, but we didn't lose them. 15 to 22, 164 yards is not a whole lot of yardage for Steichen. Pretty much like last game. Some of his throws were kind of off today, but otherwise he done, he done fine. Running the ball, Peoples had a great game. It's good to see Coleman and Peoples split it up a little bit. I'm okay with that. I think both of them stay fresh when you kind of do that type of thing. Receiving. Everybody and their brother got two receptions at least. So that's kind of like an even thing, even distribution. Flair would probably have more if he didn't get hurt in the second or second quarter, third quarter. Either way. Okay. Look at all those. Elbow, elbow, elbow. <laughs> okay. I don't even know who we have next. I'm hoping we got some prospects who are ready to... Uh, oh, we got Utah. Big game coming up against Utah. Biggest game of the season, probably. But now, US, so here's the deal. USC was ranked number one in the country, or what, number three? Now they're one and three on the year. What happened? As soon as I schedule, they're still got lots of talent. But it stinks that they're unranked. Either way, next up we got Utah. Probably the biggest game of the season, at least for the conference. So come on back. We'll take on the Utes. And think about what I talked about at the beginning of the video with all of the... Uh, next season stuff. All right, guys. I'll talk to you guys later.